you're sinking. Realize. In step three, we want to realize the principle of the universal mind to be the principle of our mind. Science has proven that every single animal, vegetable, and mineral likes the energy a pattern of energy. Seeing is made up of this energy that this mind is creative, has the ability to create. We are an extension of this universal mind or intelligence. Since we cannot be separate from it, we must be one with it and share its qualities. This is highly important since the universal mind in this creator, you and I are the co creators. This mind, universal mind, expresses itself through each individual. Individual. So essentially, we're all using one universal mind. It's like air. There isn't my air and your air. There's just air. And we are each individual using the air to breathe at the very same time. I mean, the same thing is true with the universal mind. And there's only one mind, one intelligence, and we're using that universal mind. Whatever we need to know can be drawn from that one universal mind. All the wisdom and knowledge of the universe is within that one universal mind and is available to us. His creative intelligence or the universal mind is the only agency in the universe that can transform thoughts and things. In fact, in, in, in fact, nature, or, not what, I mean, in fact, it's always true that whether we realize it or not, because of its support of nature, this mind will transform negative thoughts or positive thoughts into form or reality. The intelligence is absolutely trustworthy. It will never let us down. It is totally dependable because it works on our thoughts. Our mind is an inlet of this creative version of the universal mind. This individual might like an it to an electric light bulb. The light manifests through it, but it's not produced by it. The intelligence from the universal mind manifests us through us, but we do not produce it. So in step three, we want to realize the principle of the, of the one universal mind to be the principle of our mind. Importantly, that we are one with it and not separate from it. Limited as our mind is, we still have a universal mind or intelligence, as it is forever united with it. This creative intelligence, hearing all the ideas like ocean, and flying through the brains of men and women, and the ocean has service and it has stems. No one can tell where the surface ends, ends and the depths begins. But the surface is our conscious mind, and that depth is our, our subconscious mind. The universal mind is expressed through our subconscious mind. What this means is that, is that our subconscious mind is open at both ends. At, once, at one end, it is open to the universal mind and creative intelligence, where we can and see wisdom and guidance. It is open at the other end for input and program our lives. The combination of the two can create anything that we are willing to accept. So basically... Seriously? So... Um, we must be like one with intelligence. I know, right? Like, and that it never lets us down. Yeah, good job. So, um, uh, but really, the lesson is just not be a lesson that I picked up, but like, if I could say one lesson that kind of would make sense to you and me, it should be like one with intelligence. Or how he likes to say it. It's a neat Dr. Robert Anthony, author of this book. A universal mind or intelligence, yeah, I'm gonna call it intelligence, but that's really the only lesson I could like think of or understand about. So, um, but anyways, as kids, is a book on how kids can learn from that. And Alien Storm Park is my books back here in the Storm. So, yeah, like and subscribe. Bye.